try that again. Lovely. Hello everybody and welcome to the very first of this series of Young Voices at Home live broadcasts. Uh, we'll be bringing to you um, all sorts of um, interesting insights into how Young Voices is put together. And my name is Craig McLeish and I'm the musical director of Young Voices. I choose and put together the music pack every year and it's a wonderful job to have. It's something I, I really cherish and enjoy and uh, it's very important to get the music mix correct uh, so that everyone can have a great uh, time experience learning the music uh, and then on the evening everyone have a great experience. So this is the first of our live uh, at home Young Voices broadcasts. Um, you're very welcome all of you. Now, I don't know who you are. Uh, you might be a young person who has sung in Young Voices before, perhaps you sang last year. Uh, you might be a young person who's in a new choir that's going to be doing it next year for the very first time and you're excited about that. Uh, you might be a teacher who has brought choirs to Young Voices for many, many years and uh, we're very grateful for that too. You might be a teacher who's taken the plunge and has signed up for the first time and you don't know what you're letting yourself in for. Uh, uh, well, we'll have to give a little bit of a taste of that, uh, maybe today. I don't know. You might be a parent. You might be a curious parent who's just looking in to see what the fuss is about. Or you might be a parent or even a grandparent uh, who has enjoyed the arena concerts uh, very much and you're coming back for more excitement. Anyway, it's a completely new way of interacting with us. Uh, you can give us feedback. Uh, you can uh, comment in real time, of course. Uh, you can type something in. I'm not planning on taking requests quite yet, maybe not in this session, um, but if you do uh, type something brilliant I might just share it among the audience. Uh, the, the chat is going very fast so I don't know if I'm going to be able to read any of that. Right now let's get straight in <clears throat> to some vocal warm-ups. I'd like to start uh, on the word sing, <clears throat> but we're not going to sing on the sing eh bit, we're going to sing on the ng. The ing at the end, the sing, <clears throat> and we're just going to simply do a scale coming down and then back up. Sing, do that with me. Sing, you can open your mouth there on the ing sound. Sing, even give a little smile as you do that. Try it again and sing. Okay, I'm going to take that little swig of water first, and uh, we're going to add another little thing there. Afterwards, going to go sing he and drop down and make that ah sound lovely and wide and open and warm as you drop the jaw here. Sing he ah. We'll go back down to D flat for that one. Try it. Two, three, four. Sing, 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 one more of those. Sing, sing, 
that's lovely. <clears throat> You'll be stuck at home possibly uh, watching films like Aristocats. At the beginning of Aristocats, of course, there's a cat that plays scales and arpeggios. <clears throat> so we're going to sing arpeggio on the word arpeggio. Okay. Arpeggio. Just like that. Three, four. Arpeggio. Higher. Arpeggio. Arpeggio. Here's a different technique to try there. In the first one, we dropped the jaw, didn't we? <clears throat> For coming e -ah. This one, lift the top of the mouth on the pedge bit of the arpeggio as you go up. Give it a bit of space, give it a bit of a headroom. Arpeggio. Lift the top of the mouth, maybe an eyebrow or two, just to give it some extra space there. Let's try that. And arpeggio. That's lovely. Well, we sing scales and arpeggios. They're the building blocks of much of music, are they not? <clears throat> so, a scale. And in my choirs, we don't like to sing boring old scales to la. Uh, we do a game. We play a game called Animal, Vegetable, Mineral. Um, I've prepared the animal in advance. And while I'm doing this, if you could give me ideas for vegetables, that would be great. But we're going to start with um, one of the animals that uh, somebody always suggests, which is a camel. So you have camel. And then you need two, uh, two adjectives, uh, contrasting adjectives, that alliterate. So you have camel, and I've chosen calm camel. Calm camel. And I've chosen caramel camel as well. I don't know why. Um, not to eat uh, the colour of the camel. OK, this is how we do it. Uh, slowly and gently up the scale. And calm camel, caramel camel, calm camel, caramel camel. some reason we like to come as fast as we can on the way down. Come on, camel, 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 I think I got that right. That saves a bit of time. It's a bit of silly fun. So we've done the we've done the animal and we've already got ideas for vegetables and I can see Eve Sharp has suggested broccoli. So we're going to go with broccoli. And having decided on broccoli, we now need adjectives to go with broccoli that begin with B and alliterate as well. So um, people always choose carrot um, for this, uh, but they haven't this time. I'm looking for the first adjective that begins with B. Potato, not an adjective. Uh, that's a different vegetable. Um, I'm going to have to suggest my own. If we don't get one soon, brave broccoli. Well, we're all being brave today, aren't we? So let's... Um, Let's have brave broccoli and belligerent broccoli. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, thank you. So brave broccoli, belligerent broccoli. I just I need some water before that. I don't think that's been that's been suggested ever before. Mm. Brave broccoli, belligerent broccoli in D flat. Goodness me. Here we go. Ready and brave broccoli, belligerent broccoli, brave. belligerent to try this one and let's go very fast on the way down brave broccoli belligerent broccoli brave broccoli belligerent broccoli brave broccoli belligerent broccoli lovely if anybody got that completely right uh stick your thumb up now or uh, send a love heart <clears throat> lovely okay uh that scales and arpeggios out of the way um <clears throat> silly things to sing that's uh, a very important part of our rehearsals uh, and this one's called Chaz is the Chap, and if you're in one of my choirs, you will be well. Uh, you will know this one quite well. So uh, the words are: Chaz is the chap who chops the chips at the tip-top fish and chip shop. Chaz is the chap who chops the chips at the tip-top fish and chip shop. Here we go. <clears throat> and Chaz is the chap who chops the chips at the tip-top fish and chip shop. Your turn. Chaz is 
appearance. Anybody else? And finally, everybody. Generally ends in, in mayhem, that one. <clears throat> Lovely. Okay, so uh, uh, we're going to go beyond that now and actually sing something which you're going to sing together at home. So we're going to sing a round that hopefully you'll be able to enjoy in a round at home. <clears throat> we're going to sing a thing called Tropical Fruit Twist. And some of you will have done this. Teachers, we did this at the workshop, uh, I think, uh, three or four years ago. It involves mangoes, kiwi fruit, and bananas. Now, I personally don't have mangoes, kiwi fruit, or bananas in the house. Um, I had some bananas that went off yesterday, so I made some uh, a banana loaf with that. But <clears throat> that's all gone. And uh, I don't actually have the, the props. But if you have the props, that would be good. I'm not stopping you. Um, uh, here's how it goes with a mango. Starts off here in E flat for E flat fans. Mango, 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 mango. You try it. Mango, 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 mango. Now you can see me. I can't see you, unfortunately. If we were on a big uh, interactive Zoom session, I might be able to see some of you, but there's a little action that we add to the mango, which is simply, I don't know if you do this with mangoes, you could twist it on the tree. So you can go, mango, 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 mango. You try that. Mango, mango. It's not really a verse, it's the, it's the next bit. It's kiwi, kiwi, kiwi. For some reason, you do this with your hands. You've got a kiwi in each hand and you're kind of balancing them out. And it starts on the higher note, the G. Kiwi, 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 Okay, let's try that. Two, three. Kiwi, 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 kiwi. That's not the hardest tune ever written, and it fits beautifully with a mango in a fruit salad and in the song. Let's try that. You can have mango or kiwi. You decide. Kiwi starts there. Mango starts there. One, two, three. There's a third bit for those banana fans out there. Um, uh, you can add the banana bit. That's my favourite bit, the banana bit. And for some reason, I don't know why we did this, but with bananas, you, you shoot the banana at the bananas with your fingers. So you go banana, 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 banana. etc etc et are you ready do you have your mangoes your kiwis your bananas ready we'll do a full performance now and if you've got percussion instruments that uh, that would be nice to add as well here we go tropical fruit twist mango 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 all the time mango. Mango, mango, mango. Where are the kiwis now? Mango, 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 m
Oh yes, it has an ending. Banana! Were you ready with the ending? Okay, I think we might just do that one more time. So if you sang Kiwi that time, you can sing banana. If you stayed on mango, that's okay. You might want to make up some other fruit uh, tunes uh, that go with it. If you're a friend of passion fruit, um, or if you like your papayas, or maybe even pineapple, three peas there. You could do all peas. This could be all, all pea fruit songs. Um, and uh, we'll go again, and you can just decide to stick on one or go around whichever one you want. Here we go. Are you ready with the mango? Take two. Mango, 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 I hope you're with me at the end there and got it nice and tight. Lovely. Okay, well, <clears throat> considering the times we're in, I thought we could write a new song, uh, another round, actually. So you'll be singing four-part harmony at home now, if there's four of you, with our new Why the Isolation warm-up song, which I believe Claire has been very clever and posted on the Facebook page. So you have the, even the words and even the music, I think, there with you. But I'm still going to teach it to everybody um, <coughs> from scratch. <coughs> You'll know some of the words for this. It kind of writes itself. So the first line does this. Wash your hands all the time. Do it for 20 seconds. Okay, that's the first line. Try that with me. Wash your hands all the time. Do it for 20 seconds. We got that? Second line. It's important to include your thumbs or so my mother reckons. Do that again, it's important. It's important to include your thumbs or so my mother reckons. Okay, as it's around, we need to do each line in turn. So we'll line, do line one and two now. Wash and wash your hands. All the time, do it for 20 seconds. It's important to include your thumbs or so, my mother reckons. That's the first two lines together. Have you got that? I'm guessing you have, hopefully. Line three, you must stay indoors. Don't go out, but if you really must, I'll do that again. You must stay indoors. That's line three, try it with me. You must stay indoors. Don't go out, but if you really must. Last line. Try to stay at least two meters apart, and then you've got it sussed. Okay, final line. Try to stay at least two meters apart, and then you've got it sussed. Those are all four lines. I think we'll try and put all four lines together, slowly, starting at wash your hands. 
Have you got the words there? Yes, I have got it, Daddy, said my daughter, Laura, who was watching. Hello, Laura. And I'm looking at uh, Amelia, age seven. She's having a great time. Loose Primary, you're singing up and uh, maybe your teacher is in, in contact with you. They've sent you the link and you're singing at home, but your teacher is still encouraging you, uh, which is wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Thank you for the comments. Um, this will be uh, on Facebook, I think, and also YouTube afterwards. So you can maybe see all these comments as they as they roll. Hope you haven't forgotten the tune. We're going to sing Wash Your Hands all the time. Uh, the whole song. Are you ready? Wash, two, three, and wash your hands all the time. Do it for 20 seconds. It's important to include your thumbs or so. My mother reckons you must stay indoors. Don't go out, but if you really must, try to stay at least two meters apart. And then you've got it sus. And again, wash your hands all the time. Do it for 20 seconds. It's important to include your thumbs or so. My mother reckons you must stay indoors. Don't go out, but if you really must, try to stay at least two meters apart. And then you've got it sussed. Can I see some thumbs up or some uh, <clears throat> signals that we may maybe have that ready? Some yeses. Yes, we're ready. Are you ready for the full performance? Okay, if there's more than one of you, you can sing this in a round. So if there's two of you, obviously you're, you're two metres apart. And uh, you're around the room, maybe you're in different rooms of the house. You can still sing this in a round. Uh, there are four parts, and I'm going to sort of signal when each one comes in. Uh, let's get it ready on the playback here. Here we go. Part one. Wash your hands all the time. Do it. 20 seconds. It's important to include your thumbs or so. My mother reckons you must stay indoors. Don't go out, but if you really must, try to stay at least two meters apart. Then you've got it. So start again. Wash your hands all the time. Do it for 20 seconds. Part two. Wash your hands all the time. Do it for 20 seconds. Part three. It's important to include your time. Do it for 20 seconds. Try to stay in time. Include your time. Do it for 20 seconds. Try to stay in time. Don't go out, but if you really must, try to stay at least in time. Do it for 20 seconds. Try to stay in time. Don't go out, but if you really must, try to stay at least in time. Oh yes, I forgot to say that after three times you... You cut off and you leave that final voice on its own. Well, you can keep singing at the end if you want. Shall we try that again one more time? I don't know. What's the time? We haven't really got time to do that. We haven't got time to do it again. We've got to move on. We'll sing it again next time. Uh, okay, we've got one more thing to do. And um, I'm going to show you a little bit about how Young Voices is put together from the very initial stages. On the screen I have with me, here, I'm going to be very careful as I lift the phone up and swap round the view. So on here we have uh, a screen of my computer and this is a program called Logic. And uh, Logic is wonderful. It's, um, <clears throat> you can put instruments and voices together and make the tracks that you need uh, to put in the pack for everyone to learn from. So for instance, I have the individual um, sounds up here. I've selected the piano there, so the piano sound is selected. That one at the top where it's greyed out. And if I come down here, the next one is an organ. It's called Lighter Shade Organ. You recognize that from uh, uh, a well-known 60s 
song. Down here there's a bass part. I often play um, uh, a synth bass there and I might re uh, replace that with a real bass for the final track. Further down here, LJ Main. That means Laura Jane Main. That's her, that's her voice. So if I solo that one there and I go to here, you'll hear her sing. Hopefully. Today's the day we've been waiting for. So that's her voice on her own. And then when I scroll down here and lift that up, you can actually see the file there. Logic has a wonderful thing where you can mess around with the notes and make them longer and shorter. And uh, this is singing together, by the way. So uh, if you're getting your words together for singing together, now's the time to do it. OK. Uh, anything else I could show you there? There's some backing vocals there. There's some guitars down here, I think. There's some three guitars. Let's, let's see what they're doing. If I solo that one at the beginning, what happens there? Oh, yes. So that's the lead guitar one. And what's this one here? Oh, yes. It's kind of a sort of uh, a palm muted little guitar part. Um, a bit like Eye of the Tiger there. I nicked a bit of that, didn't I? And then this one here is the acoustic, I think. This one here. Yes. Some nice chuggy anticipatory acoustic there. So that is uh, the whole song there in one on one screen. That's all singing together with some the vocals there in blue and the instruments there in green. And that uh, just shows you a little bit about... Um, how I put that together. So we're about to sing, singing together to complete this this session. Hope you've um, found uh, the words. We've posted the words, I think. Uh, if you are in Young Voices in 2018, you might have a book, you might have a lyric sheet. Um, and although we're at home, we are uh, going to be singing together, hopefully right now. There's a little competition I'm going to set you for next time. Um, during the song, I think it's the verse two. Uh, you'll hear a little, a little quote. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes in because you're si you're singing about songs from the past, and um, that's not the only hidden tune in this song. There is another hidden tune in this song, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to set that for you. Uh, so before next time, we might get some answers back in to see if you can spot the hidden tune. It's not, I don't think, too obvious. So that should test you. Um, are you ready for singing together? There's a few th other things I should say. Uh, there's a whole series of these coming up. Uh, and um, the next one is on Monday. Uh, it's, uh, it's YV at home session number two. And it's with the amazing, the incredible, the extraordinary Tom Billington, who has graced our stage uh, uh, on many a year. Um, he runs the Electric Umbrella, uh, which is definitely worth checking out uh, if you want some entertainment at home. They run four or five programmes a day at the moment on Electric Umbrella Live on Facebook. Wonderful to watch. And he's going to be doing our session on Monday morning at 10 o'clock uh, with his song, uh, which is called Hyper. That's right. The song is called Hyper. And there'll be all sorts of other uh, amazing things we're going to send you from the team, from the YV team. OK, singing together. Thank you for joining me on this very first uh at home session. I'm going to get the track ready. Uh, singing together. Here we go. I'm not going to teach it to you. We're, going to, we're just going to sing it through. Are you ready? <laughs> Spirits 
session we hope for many more stay safe stay indoors wash your hands and we'll see you next time thank you very much bye bye